Iraqi forces are still hammering away at ISIS-controlled areas of western Mosul, the last major pocket of resistance in Iraq. But their advance has been slow amid a bloody urban insurgent battle and increased civilian casualties. On Monday, General Joseph Dunford, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, landed in Iraq for a first-hand look at the situation. Joining him was Jared Kushner, President Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor, on his first overseas trip since the president took office. A Pentagon spokesman says Kushner is traveling on behalf of Mr. Trump to meet with Iraqi leaders and U.S. military personnel. The hope is to accelerate the fight against ISIS while protecting civilians caught in the crossfire. They are putting their snipers and heavy machine guns on the roofs. This is hard to deal with because we need to protect the civilians. Meanwhile, in Syria, coalition forces are tightening their siege around the city of Raqqa, the self-proclaimed ISIS capital. The Pentagon says it's considering more deployments to the country. Some plans are calling for an additional 1,000 U.S. troops in northern Syria to stop ISIS fighters before they cross the border. The United States has pri profound priorities in Syria and Iraq, and we've made it clear that counterterrorism, particularly the defeat of ISIS, um, is foremost among those priorities. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis has given the president his recommendations for defeating ISIS worldwide, but the White House has not yet announced any major change in strategy. In London, Kitty Logan, Fox News.